Previously on the Saddle Club. You have to come up with the overdue loan payments by the end of the day tomorrow. Look, Drew, what's important is that Pine Hollow Stables continues to operate as a riding school. So we have to take whatever steps necessary to ensure that that happens. I know what you're trying to do. Convince me to get my father to put money into Pine Hollow. Nice try, but I wasn't born yesterday. Red, please don't do this. I'll be returning Storm first thing in the morning. Until then, for your own safety, you are not to go near that horse. Is that understood? I have to go tell Drew. about you last night, Storm. We escaped from all this. A road where, where we could be free. I'm scared that if you go back to the shelter, they'll put you down. And that would be so... so unfair. You're a good horse with a good heart. I know that. It's obvious to me. How can they destroy such a good horse? It's because of what those cruel people have done to you. You go a little wild now and then, but with enough love, all those bad memories will fade away. <laughs> Because we trust each other, don't we, Storm? What in the world do you think you're doing? But Red, he's so calm and gentle. I thought I told you to stay away from him. But Red... I want you out of there, now. Have any idea what could have just happened? But it didn't! Lisa! Red, you're the one who told me that some horses need more time than others. And for some horses, it doesn't matter how much time you give them. You can't undo the damage that's been done. I worked at a property when I was 14. There was this one gelding that my boss picked up from an auction. He was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. He was also the meanest. I offered a summer's pay in exchange for that horse, convinced I could win him over. My boss thought I was crazy, but he agreed. What happened? I worked with that gelding all summer. I figured sooner or later he'd realise I wasn't going to hurt him. Every time I thought I was getting somewhere, he'd prove me wrong. Until finally, he put me in the hospital. I just don't want that to happen to you. But Storm isn't that horse. Lisa, sometimes when a horse's trust of humans has been broken, it can't ever be repaired. When that happens, the horse is a danger to himself and to everyone around him. But, Red, it isn't Storm's fault. We can't just let him be destroyed. I've made my decision and it's final. I'll be taking him back to the shelter as soon as I'm done with the morning feed.
Hello, girls. What do we have here? Hamsters? No, Ashley. Guinea pigs. Black hamsters, only cuter. Can I have a look? Yeah. Oh. That's quite a responsibility you've taken on. Huh? They can be quite a handful. They're really small. How much work can they be? So, we'll have to have at least one rehearsal. And we're gonna have to change at your house, Lisa, because my dad will send us off in granny clothes. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong, like set? It's what we wanted. We thought you'd be happy about this. <laughs> I know, I know. And I really want to. But I keep thinking about Storm. We do too. But the singing is the three of us together, a saddle club thing. Storm is a saddle club thing too, isn't he? Hey, the money will help save Pine Hollow. And that's got to be a saddle club thing. <laughs> <laughs> There must be another way besides selling the land. Why didn't Drew tell me sooner? I could have helped. Look, I appreciate the thought, but it wouldn't change anything. Isn't there anything I can do? <laughs> Not unless you've won the lottery lately. That was last month. <sighs> Lisa came to see me in a real state. Storm's a hopeless case, is he? I'm in over my head. I thought I could do this, but I can't. Poor Lisa. She believes in him. She also believes in you. Look, Red, you might be right about Storm. Some situations are just out of our hands, but if there's even the slightest chance to change that, don't you owe it to Storm and to yourself to try? good with him. Whoever heard him did a good job of it. My guess is he has every reason to fear us. He's worse with men. The only way to truly conquer that fear would be to prove to him once and for all that we're not going to harm him, even when he's vulnerable. Does that mean you'll try? That means we'll try. <laughs> Thank you. Are you sure you want to go through with this? It won't hurt him, right? There's no physical danger, but once we start, there's no turning back. If we do, it'll be worse than if we hadn't done anything at all. Lisa, you have to understand that if this doesn't work, we'll have destroyed any chance of gaining Storm's trust. We have to try. <laughs> Get up! Here we go. Come on, boy. I promise you, I'm not hurting him. He's afraid of what we might do, not of what we're doing. Now I need you to grab that other lariat and bring it over here. We need to teach Storm 
but it wasn't the rope or the whip that hurt him. It was the person using it. But he's afraid of me. You need to believe in this too, Lisa. We can't do it without you. Good. Now very gently, brush the lariat along his side. Easy, Storm. I won't hurt you. Maybe there's hope for this horse yet. What? I thought you said there was two daddy guinea pigs. Well, that's what I was told. Well, that daddy is really a mummy. He'll make a fortune. Hey, hey. What are you doing? Hey. <laughs> Here. Scooter. Did they agree to the advance? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Way to drive a bargain, Scooter. You're a top manager. So, when do we get it? When do you want it? Now. Okay. <laughs> Something wrong, Scooter? Well, uh, being a manager, it's not a day at the beach, you know. The truck's not going to unload itself, Scooter. So, where's our money? You do have the advance. You said you had it. No, I haven't got it as such. So who has got it? I have. You have. Why has Red got it? It's complicated. Actually, it's quite simple. You see, in advance means we get our money up front. So where's our money? You haven't told them, Scooter. Haven't told us what? What's going on? Scooter? Oh, okay now. You know how I told you the event in Sweetwater Mall was to launch a new line of dog food? Yes. Go on. Oh, no. We're getting paid in dog food? It's not just any dog food. It's got nine essential vitamins and minerals in it. So, should I go and unload the other 200 boxes then? Yeah, why not? <sighs> I knew 
was just a matter of time and patience. You're yourself now, aren't you? You weren't yourself before. I knew we could do it. Wait. It was red, really, wasn't it? It was red and me together. Ah, red let you think that. You could never handle that horse by yourself, Lacey. Face it. I'm sure I could now. Oh, I'd like to see you try. Where are they? They're gone. I can say that. Ruined. Storm. Let's get some fresh air and sunshine. I'll show Veronica. You wouldn't hurt me, would you, boy? As most of you may be aware, Pine Hollow has recently encountered some financial difficulties. As a last resort, we've decided to go ahead with the sale of the land surrounding the stables. Unfortunately, we won't be able to use any more of the riding trails. I'm sorry. Hopefully, we'll find other places to ride, huh? Such a shock. I could see it coming a mile off. How? Well, the Regnaries are nice people, but business people, <laughs> I don't think so. I'd hate to see Pine Hollow close down. Well, that's what happens when a place is badly run. Well, somebody like you would be good at running Pine Hollow. Well, I don't think I'd be a very popular choice. Well, that's just because people are jealous of you. Well, why do you say that? Well, people are jealous because they want to be like you. Even I wouldn't mind. <laughs> You're a strange one, Scooter. Would you like to be me? Oh, I don't like it much, but what can you do? There's no return or exchange on yourself once you're born. So... You think I could run the stables? Consider the advantages. All the things, all the people you don't like. Just change them. You're as quiet as a lamb when you're happy. Aren't you strong? You keep the bank off your back for a while. I don't know what to say. Well, you could start by assuring me what a good investment I've made. That it is. Daddy. Ah, yes, well, as your new partner, I have just one small request to make. And that would be? I should like my daughter to take an active role in the day-to-day -day running of the riding school. As a way to further her business skills. Shall we say, executive? Student president. <gasps> Must be the excitement.
Lisa! Lisa! Are you all right? What did he do? Did Storm turn on you? Uh, I don't know who read. I just went for a gentle walk. And I tripped and fell. Storm reared up at me. He was protecting you. It's all right, Storm. You're a good horse. Say hello to Red. He's turned over a new leaf, Red. Can I have everyone's attention, please? There's been a change of plans. Pine Hollow's trails are back in business. I have one other announcement. I'd like to introduce to you Pine Hollow's new executive student president, Veronica D'Angelo. Oh, woohoo! Thank you, everyone. As your new executive student president, I will be making a few changes to Pine Hollow for the better. The first thing I would like to attack is the big rat problem. I'm sure you've all noticed the nasty little creatures running around the There's place. There's only one big rat around here. Unacceptable. Sure, we all agree. Drew, I am really glad that everything worked out for you. Sometimes we find what we need when we least expect it. What a beautiful creature. Hey, Red, Lisa, I believe you know Mr. Roth from the bank? Hi there. He's a magnificent animal. Do you mind if I... Uh... Just be careful. Storm isn't used to strangers. You are a beautiful boy, eh? Hey? Come here. He a, what a lovely animal, hmm? He's up for adoption from the shelter. Is he now? You know, I've got a farm not ten minutes from here and it's been vacant for far too long. It needs a fair bit of work and I could do with a good horse to give me a hand. Do you think that Storm would like that? I think he would love it. <laughs> Good fella. You got a new home, Storm. <laughs>